This flash tutorial comes courtesy of GyroMud. He's one of our first few members that joined Develop PHP. It's in our requested tutorial section. He's pondering how to make an FLA file that publishes with a transparent background. And he says, my but the pretty websites that one could make with that knowledge. <laughs> That's funny. He's a funny guy. Uh, and yeah, you could make some really pretty websites using the transparent settings in Flash. And I'll tell you how to set that up. And what you do is, if you're in Flash CS3 or Flash CS4 or Flash 8 or Flash MX, or whatever you're working in, uh, you can tamper with the publish settings to get that right. So let's say we're in a new ActionScript 2.0 or 3.0 file, and we go to the publish settings. Let's just go down here to, or let's go up here. Let's go to publish settings, HTML, window mode transparent windowless press OK and now when you publish your flash file will have no window I'm gonna go ahead and set my stage width to and I'm gonna show you two applications where this is very handy and actually the YouTube programmers themselves I think should adjust something and I'll show you where and why and let's say this was 800. Say we had a big flash, uh, a big flash site, and it was 950 by 800. And then on top, say, well here, let me show you a practical use for it. So here in Fireworks, I have, say, I set up this custom background that I want to use as the background of my web page but on it I want to make sure that the flash file has no background because I want to stick buttons up in this curve section going along this curve and I want to use the CSS background as a visual holder so what I'll do is go to file save this as let's say we save it as a JPEG and let's put it on the desktop and save it as my BG IBG. JPEG save it's on the desktop okay so now we'll go into flash and I'll show you how to lay some buttons on top so say you go into window common libraries grab some buttons let's see where's some buttons circle bubble rectangle bevel that's good that's fine yep an orange one right there okay so Let's say I had some buttons. Let's go inside that button. Let's get rid of that text. Let's delete the layer. Go back out. Control C, Control V. Now I'm going to try and place the buttons to where I think they would go along that curved line. But we'll see. Control C, Control V. Okay, so if I publish out. Actually, let me file and save this to the desktop. Save as. Go to the desktop. Save this as uh, no BG. Now I have no BG and I'll publish out. It makes an HTML file. Now let's open that HTML file and see what happens. No BG. There it is. Open with Dreamweaver 8. And yes, I have Dreamweaver 4 too. And yes, it's great okay so in the design mode well you don't have to be you can be in either mode I think just go to the page properties and let's set a background let's set that background image on the desktop that was named my BG press apply okay now let's go ahead and center this this flash file by clicking here next to it and hit the center align center now it it aligned centered my flash file onto that background so let's press uh, F12 in Dreamweaver you see there there's no background to that and now my buttons and now all I have to do is go back into my flash file and put these buttons where I want them to go along this line here and that's a that's one application for uh, using this type of thing or this type of yeah, let's see 
well you get the drift all you'd have to do is move those buttons around to where they uh, you know in the flash file you would move your buttons down I don't have to show you how to do that you would know how to do that and then you publish out again you can get the HTML file and put the background back on and that's how it works so you can see there's no background in the flash file but here inside the flash file you can see the background is clearly it's set to white but we set the transparent settings and the publish settings remember we went to HTML set the window mode transparent and that, and that published out and it gave us these uh, let's open this with Dreamweaver 8 and gave us these settings inside of our HTML in the code you see right here W mode transparent and then in the embed part W mode transparent and that's how that's set if you didn't want it transparent that would say window I do believe and that is application number one and here is application number two for setting your window mode to transparent in uh, your flash applications you'll see on YouTube and this is it's kinda sad and I may be wrong but I, again, then again I may be right I think I'm right because uh, on YouTube, the billion dollar website, their menu here, when you pull it down, if you're on a partner channel like mine, there's more space here and that's all well and good. The menu shows just fine. That more button is visible. But say I go to my buddy Scrambled's channel, and this can be on any browser I think because I looked at it in Internet Explorer too, and I'm in Google Chrome right now. If I go to my pull down, you'll see my menu buttons covered up by the flash player, the video player. And this is just an SWF, a flash file sitting on an HTML page, and that's all it is. If YouTube programmers, and it really amazes me that uh, they have bad functionality like this on a billion dollar website, because here I created a website for, for just a couple of thousand that uh, it's a community website anybody can join for the, the, mem the people that live in Transylvania County, North Carolina that are into the arts. Say they're a musician or they're an artist. They can join, make profile, all that good stuff like MySpace or YouTube and blah blah blah. But look, you go over my drop down menu and here's a flash file just like this would be their video player sitting on the page. You go over my drop down menu and it's above my flash file. That's how it's supposed to be. You go to YouTube's, it's behind their flash file not cool all they have to do is set the window mode like I did here to transparent inside of their they can go into Dreamweaver for that page and sync into the uh, a parameter for the window mode to be transparent if it's possible I'm not trying to snap on YouTube programmers or anything they're they're flash developers but if they were to set their uh, window mode to transparent that would not be. So that's application number two to where using the transparent window mode and flash would be very handy for your applications. Okay, we'll see you next lesson.